Doctors and nurses from Mountain Star Healthcare's Lone Peak Hospital in Draper spent time this weekend volunteering for a good cause. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree has more on that story for us tonight. It wasn't a typical work day for healthcare workers at Lone Peak Hospital, but as always, they made a difference. Let everyone know that we're Lone Peak's here. We're, we're here to help. Here to help in a health emergency or not, this respiratory therapist says whether it's ventilators or in this case, wheelbarrows, he enjoys serving others. We just want to give back to our community and doing this, you know, would be, it's, 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 uh, it's an honor to do. The Mountain Star Healthcare team worked alongside the Fuller Center for Housing of Salt Lake, a nonprofit that makes repairs on properties for low income homeowners. It's critical that we all work together and know each other so that we can all accomplish the same goal, which is to help people. But this project was unlike any other. We need to come together to be a part of, of addressing them and supporting these survivors. Survivors of polygamy. Our organization is called Holding Out Help and HELP stands for Helping, Encouraging and Loving Polygamists. Our mission is to provide those from a polygamous culture the care, support and resources to become independent and self-sufficient. Executive Director Tanya Tool says the additional housing is desperately needed. That's why they're turning this 10 bedroom home into a safe haven for as long as people need. Last year alone, 95% suffered from physical abuse, 61% uh, from sexual exploitation, and 47% were labor trafficked. Almost everyone that's helped here will get intense counseling for years, but that's not all. By living here, then we can start focusing on what their future looks like so they can decide what they want to become. Do they want to go get educated? Do they want to get job skills? Setting them up for success like never before. As for the volunteers, they say they got the most out of it. And that joy is contagious, and we just want to spread it to people around us. In Draper, Jenna Bree. I think that's it. Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, survivors are expected to move into this home at the beginning of December.